Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma, speaking at a press conference in Shillong, said 667 samples sent have tested negative for COVID-19. The state is yet to receive the result of 60 more samples. The state have so far tested 738 individuals post the first positive case. A total of uh, 738 samples have been sent for testing and uh, 667 have come out negative and uh, total there are 10 active positive cases in the state. We are still waiting about 60 samples, uh, the uh, tests are, results are awaited. Concerning the status of active COVID-19 cases in the state, the government informed that the wife of the doctor, Meghalaya's first COVID-19 patient who died on April 15 morning, is stable and in home quarantine. All other positive patients are under home quarantine and that the conditions of all the patients who have tested positive is stable as of now. The concerned uh, patient uh, who was a helper in the house uh, is from a suburban village and uh, the person uh, has been in fact uh, in the uh, quarantine and the corona care centers uh, you know for the past uh, three days and the samples were taken and of course a sample came out positive. Uh, the condition of uh, all the patients who have uh, tested positive uh, is stable as of now. He spoke at length on the testing protocol and on case management protocols for confirmed positive cases. He informed that a lot of people have called asking why they have not been tested, to which the chief minister said that testing have been prioritized and the high-risk primary contacts who lived in close proximity and contact with the first positive patients are the highest primary contacts for which testing are being done first. Two important issues which I think the people should know. One is the protocols for testing and second is case management protocols for confirmed positive cases. We need to prioritize the testings. The high risk primary contacts, those who lived in close proximity and contact with the positive patient are the high risk primary contacts. The next level will be other symptomatic primary contacts. These are primary contacts who have been in close proximity with the concerned individual. And third are symptomatic high-risk individuals who have visited the concerned hospital after 24th March and have registered with the government. And these are more of individuals who met with the person directly. He informed that all asymptomatic cases and asymptomatic individuals who have visited Bethany Hospital after 24th of March 2020 have registered with the government are not being tested currently. He said that all those individuals should go for the mandatory home quarantine for at least 14 days and in case they develop any symptoms, they should call the helpline 108. All asymptomatic cases and asymptomatic individuals who have visited Bethany Hospital after 24th of March 2020 and have registered with the government are not being tested currently. All these, test, all these individuals, however, have to be mandatorily under home quarantine for at least 14 days. And in case they develop any symptoms, they should immediately call 108 and report. The number of persons in home quarantine and institutional quarantine in the state have gone up to 2,557. The government helpline 108 and 1070 have received over 50,000 calls. The Meghalaya government is focusing on identification, isolation and testing to contain COVID-19 in the state. Tracing the primary and secondary context to first positive case in the state is still on. Till date, 140 primary and 4,755 secondary contacts have been identified. On farming activities, the chief minister said products like the Arica nuts, bitter leaf and broomstick will be allowed to transport to different markets with restriction and transportation outside the state will not be allowed. Shops and essential commodities will be open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Monday to Thursday while buying from the wholesale shops will be allowed on Friday to Sunday. We are allowing agriculture activities in the villages to take place where strict protocols for social distancing are being asked to be maintained. I would like to add out here that this also in agriculture includes products like erica nut, beetle leaf and broomsticks also. 
So therefore, farmers who are farming in these products will be allowed to transport their products to different markets. Entry of traders from outside the state will not be allowed. Therefore, whatever marketing has to be done has to be organized in collaboration with the deputy commissioners so that these restrictions are followed. So far, Meghalaya has a total of 10 active COVID-19 cases with one positive died following infection. Bureau report.